welcome back to Explore Seattle. Today we are exploring downtown Issaquah and you are invited to come. started off as a mining and logging town and now it has grown into a huge population center and one of the largest suburbs in uh, and around the Seattle area. Issaquah is about 15 minutes drive east of downtown Seattle and a straight shot on I-90. We love this drive because it's incredibly scenic. The mountains in front of us are a part of the Cascades, they make this drive a scenic experience. There are many hiking trails around this area. The ones that we recommend are Tiger Mountain, Little Sai, and Snoqualmie Falls. All of them are north of downtown Issaquah, which we are just arriving at. During the Microsoft boom, Issaquah experienced a surge of population increase and it hasn't stopped since. The average home price in Issaquah is well over $800,000 and the average household income is over six figures. So yeah, this area is certainly comparatively wealthy. Even with all the new developments in Issaquah though, its downtown has maintained a small town charm. It's our first time here today and we enjoy what we see. So before getting out, we have to gear up because of COVID. First, a mask. Make sure that it's snug and tight. And now, a face shield. Aha! <laughs> It's like, Luke, I am your father. So never in a million years have I ever imagined leaving, you know, getting outside like this, but it's happening. Okay, see? Everyone's got their mask and shit. Hey, I like yours, Jax. Show me yours. <laughs> you got yours on? Yeah? Okay, put your mask on, okay? Welcome to downtown Issaquah. The street is lively, a lot of traffic, but it's not super busy. No big buildings here either, and it just offers a comforting feeling. Almost feels like going back in time. Speaking of, look at this cute little theater. It's closed right now, of course, but still it adds to the small town essence of this place. And this local seafood bistro right next to the theater, oh, it's very Pacific Northwest. And what do we have here? Oh, a glass studio called Art by Fire. Beautiful and very fitting name. Next to it are a music studio and a salon. And then next to that, a bar and tavern place. Oh, also there are bus routes that come here to, the, uh, to this downtown. And right in front of us, a lash extension place. I've never had it done before, but it looks interesting. Oh, yummy, there is also an Indian restaurant. So a lot of small local establishments here, which are so nice to see. And this gallery, it's incredibly interesting. It's called Zen Gallery. Looks like it offers beautiful antique furniture from the Far East.
here is a saloon, not a salon, and a traditional meat market where they actually cut the meat right in front of you. That's how people used to do it. Like I said before, very small townish, historical, and charming. There is also a trolley museum which we just discovered. Prior to COVID, you can actually go into the museum and then ride the trolley here. The tickets aren't super expensive and it's fun for the whole family. When COVID's over and hopefully when the weather is nicer, we're certainly coming back. The trolley is a vintage electric streetcar and the round trip covers about 1.2 miles and takes about 20 minutes. After running into the trolley, we ran into this, an old gas station. So cute! And of course, a small nature trail and creek nearby. Hey girls, we survived. That was a lot. It was the mask and then the face shield. It was very hard to breathe, but it was worth it though because it was, it's, downtown Issaquah was super cute and it was really quaint and it was, it looked like a fun place to go, especially in the summer and especially when COVID is over. So what did we do today? We walked around downtown. Issaquah, we got to know the area a little better. We ran into the trolley, which was super cute. We tried to find the bakery. Unfortunately, it was closed, but still, it was a nice way to spend the afternoon with the family. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Explore Seattle, and thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to comment and hit subscribe and ring the bell. And we will see you next time. Bye.